Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show here. I'm Skag the Bones, I'm your host today, and just want to do this quick short video for you about, there we go, about the mountain bike. So, took the mountain bike on another ride, I was getting a little bit of some brake rubbing, a little sh -sh 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 noise. At first, I had a constant rubbing noise, it was shh. So I adjusted the brake pads out just a little bit, and I kept getting a little bit of rubbing noise. Uh, I pulled the wheels out to try to straighten them up a little bit because these are a little bit older style, so they got quick release skewers, not through axle like a lot of the new stuff is. Now, I'm not saying all bikes don't um, have through axles, but they're going through axles quite a bit because they're a lot more durable. So, still got the quick release on these fellas, but I pull them out, check them, the rotors still seem to be, they seem to be straight. Obviously I didn't have a, a adjustable wrench to, to truly double check, but I, I put them in, made sure they were straight, squared in there, and uh, still making that little sh 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 once I return. So, got back home, kind of readjusted them. So, I had to gap them just a little bit more. If you remember, we were using a a machinist gapping tool here or um, gap gauge however you want to call it and so I had to take the bolts off for the calipers and just kind of push them in a little bit more inboard towards uh, the, the actual spokes so that gave us a little bit more room uh, now it means that I'm not going to get as much uh, adjustment out of the brakes uh, for the brake pads uh, because once I get this this inner screw, focus down a little bit more. There we go. So you have this this inner adjustment screw here for the inner pad, and then for the outer pad, what you adjust is this cable tension uh, screw because these are mechanical disc brakes. So you're not going to get as much adjustment out of them as you would if I had had the caliper all the way outboard, but that's the way we had to do it. So I had to put a little bit more gap in there. Uh, when I actually got the wheels onto the truing stand and I put this over the rotors, or, sorry, um, so we found I have just a little bit of warping. Not a lot, nothing that I can actually fix. So the only true fix would be to replace those rotors. They're not expensive, maybe $5 a piece. They're only Tektro rotors, they're really cheapies, so I could probably put some, uh, spend 10 bucks, put some brand new ones on there. But, because we're going to be getting some new hydraulic disc brakes for this bike at some point, probably next month. Uh, yeah, don't think it's really worth it. So, just to adjust them a little bit, we don't have the noise anymore. Can hear? I'll show you here. So, as you can hear there. Got no, absolutely no noise coming from the front wheel. And still have the stopping power. So just had to adjust it. The, the brake levers aren't as tight as I like them. I tend to like my brake levers a little bit tighter. But I could increase the cable tension, but once again, that's going to bring the brake pad a little bit closer to the rotor. And we might possibly get that whooshing sound back. So I'm just going to have to deal with a little bit more travel. As you can see, they're in my brake levers than I normally like. If you look here, normally I like pressure to be right there applied. When I pull my brake levers now, I'm getting it to about there, which is fine. Um, uh, if, if these were if these were hydraulic brakes, I wouldn't care because the new brake levers are single finger brake levers. But because I'm dealing with a long brake lever, I normally keep my hands all the way in here. I keep my index finger here for. So here's how I keep it. I'm just kind of should give you guys an idea. With my brake levers, what I normally do is I, and, and the longer brake levers have this kind of a little bit of a gap here in the front of the brake lever. I can spin this around for you. So you normally have this little bit of a gap right here in the brake lever with the longer brake levers. In fact, these are more for a BMX brake lever. So what that allows for me to do is I don't brake with my index finger. Okay, I leave my index finger here for shifting, 
I leave my thumb here back here for shifting, and I break with these. These are what we call three finger breaks. So they're actually made that your hand can be in here, your finger can be in here, and as long as this doesn't, even if it comes back all the way, you're not going to actually pinch your fingers in there. So you keep fingers in here for shifting. Now the other way to do it, which would eliminate that, and you would get your fingers more towards the edge here, like so, would be to take this brake lever and move it over to the other end of the, the uh, shifting lever. But I don't want to take the handlebars apart again to do that. So I'm leaving them here. I'm just, this is how I break. I do kind of like this two finger thing like so, or three finger thing like this like so. That gives me quite a bit of power for the, for the mechanical brakes. Leave my index finger in there. It does, it's not going to get squished because of the way the brake levers are designed. I purposely bought these brake levers because of that. It allows me to continue, allows me to shift and keep my finger and my hands on the brakes. Okay, normally you don't get that kind of response with mechanical brakes. <coughs> or, and you'll see on most shows that they'll talk about if you have hydraulic disc brakes, you just want to use a single finger here so that you can use the rest of your hands. You can use your thumbs for the for the actual controls for shifting. But since we don't have hydraulic brakes, this is what we gotta resort to. So that's that's pretty much it folks. Just kind of wanted to get this video out to you, show you kind of how do I had to change my adjustment a little bit for the mountain bike. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, uh, let's give us a thumbs up. It helps us with the show. It helps us keep uh, new information on the air for you guys. Uh, keep the information out there. Uh, so, uh, like I said, give us a thumbs up if you, if you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. You get, get a chance to see more videos. Uh, and you get direct emails. It's, from me saying when we got new videos up. So keeps you up to date on everything. But like I said, this is Skag and Bones. I'm your host. Like always, make sure you stay safe out there and keep riding.